please subscribe if you like this video and give it a thumbs up and you can ring the bell and you'll be notified of any new upcoming videos. Hi guys, tonight I decided to do a fish dish for my family. Um, every night I try to do a different dish. One night it's fish, one night it's chicken, and I switch it up to whatever is on the menu. Tonight I'm gonna to do a simple Italian style Icelandic haddock that I found at my local fishermonger. I got fish, uh, four steaks, because I have four people here. And um, this is my one of my best friend's recipes, and it's an Italian recipe. First off, I took four cloves of garlic and I sliced them really thin. I like a little spicy, so I add one little red pepper. This is optional. I have diced it all up and I'm just bringing it close to show you. And I put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. I use this brand of olive oil. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, you will need one lemon about 10 sprigs of thyme and I've kept it all ready and I've used about two like a handful full of artichokes that are marinated in water and I've sliced them up for this dish it's so simple and easy I serve it with simple steamed white rice which I've already prepared it's easy you just follow any recipe of white rice so first off I turn it on and I'm going to saute this Um, spatula works really well for flipping fish. Both of them. This one, and this one I picked up as well, which kind of bends, and I like it. So I use both of them. You'll need some crushed pepper, red pepper, a little bit of pepper and salt, and that's it. And chopped tomatoes. Um, I use the little cherry tomatoes because they're little. You'll need about like one big handful similar amount to the artichokes so everything's prepped and i'm just waiting for this to brown watch that it doesn't burn because if you put it on high it burns the garlic is almost like a light golden brown i'm going to add my fish in here i'm going to kind of give it a little quick fry I'm going to add a little sprinkle of pepper on it, about a little less than half a teaspoon, just as it is on the fish. Because it's from the ocean, it has a little bit of salt in it already, so I kind of watch the salt that I put on it. I'm just going to do a little sprinkle of the salt. And you can always add more, but you can't take it out, so just watch on the, on the salt. Um, I like the chilies, so I'm just going to add a little pinch. This you don't have to if you don't like spicy. I like spicy food. I just add a little sprinkling of it on there. I'm going to saute, flip it over, and then take it out of this plate. I'm going to fry up the rest. I'm just flipping it over because I don't want it to overcook. It's so delicate. I've decided to take a smaller saucepan and put a little bit of that olive oil in it, just a little sprinkle. I'm going to saute the um, artichoke in there and the tomatoes and I'm going to put it on top of this so that way you don't have to take the fish out because it's crumbling. So I'm just going to put it in full because I want the whole flavor and you can pick it out. I'm going to put the artichokes in and give it a little saute in there. The fish is ready, so I'm going to add the tomato to the top, as it is, like that. It's a real low-fat, easy meal, and my children absolutely love it. I'm going to get one lemon and squeeze it over. from it so there's no seeds in there. Artichokes are sauteed, 
Sometimes they sell them with oil already in it, in which case I would not pan fry it. I just try to use very minimum oil and keep this a very low fat meal. I just take the artichoke, sprinkle on top, and your dinner is done. Absolutely delicious. I would put just a little bit more of salt on top because I haven't. Just a very tiny little bit. Just a pinch of salt for the artichokes. You can always add, but you can't take out, so watch that. Okay, I finished my dish. That's what it looks like, a close-up. Okay, dinner's all ready. I've put some rice in the dish. I put the fish. It's kind of uh, smashes up a bit, so you have to be really careful taking it out. And I put the artichoke and tomato, and then the thyme, you can just take it out. I purposely left it like this, so you can throw it out. This is the flavor's already infused in there. Okay, guys, dinner's done. So, what would you rate it? I'd say 9. 10 out of 5. 10. And you? 9.5 out of 10. Okay. For easier popping out of the skin, I give it a little slit under here like so, and it's easy to peel back and eat. Wow, 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 it's very nice. <laughs>